This is Dingus, and I wanted to see how long it would take to get him fired from a job. You see, in all the years I've been playing this game, I've never been fired in The Sims. I didn't know what it would take or if it would even be possible, and I was most certainly not ready for how ridiculous this process would be. Day one of life for Dingus, and the first thing we need to do is find him a job. So there are a lot of options here, but I think the best course of action would be the business track. And Dingus can be a mailroom technician, which sounds like a nonsense title, if I'm being honest. Let's uh, let's take it. We are going to cheat Dewey Cheatham and Howe in a way that's never been done before, at least until they catch on. With work starting in just 23 hours, we have a little bit of time to show you around the digs. Or at least I thought we did. Uh, it's actually time for the welcome wagon. This is when everybody in the neighborhood comes to snoop on their new neighbor. Okay, bye everybody, you can leave now. Okay, where were we? So, this is the living room of Dingus, complete with entertainment setup here, and then even a television over here with a customized TV stand. The kitchen is probably the room I've worked the hardest on, and you can tell by the way I've angled the trash can in a very interesting style. The bedroom is comprised of an eclectic mix of furniture that Dingus found in a nearby dumpster. And if I'm being perfectly honest, the bathroom's probably the nicest room in the house. So one of the things you can do to work towards a promotion, uh, which is when you fill up this green bar all the way here, you get a promotion, uh, is to fill out daily reports in my case. My assumption is that if we can get this bar into the red, we will indeed be fired. I think that means the obvious thing to do here is nothing. Imagine getting a brand new office job and not showing up to work on your first day. I think that should plummet this bar into the red zone. I should be fired immediately. Well, nothing to do but find out. All right, it is morning. Dingus is cooking some breakfast. And in just a few hours, Dingus is going to miss his first day of work. I could not be more excited. Now, even though we are not going to work, we still need to make some money. So one of the things I like to do is buy my Sims an easel. These are great because in very short time, they can become pretty decent artists and make themselves some good money. So instead of going to our business job today, we are going to play the role of starving artist and begin painting and painting and painting. Hang on there, Dingus. Uh, miss work? Dingus is currently at work. His boss may not think well of him skipping work. Are you sure he should? Uh, yes. The message made it very clear that my boss is not gonna like it very much if I skip out on my first day of work. I'm even getting warnings that say Dingus is missing work. If he misses too many days, his job performance will suffer. Funny enough, I think I'm probably making more money just selling art <laughs> than I would be if I went to this crappy mailroom job. <laughs> There's another 186 simoleons, which is 86 simoleons in profit. And since this seems to be my favorite painting to make over and over again, I will hang it on this wall over here where it can be a source of inspiration. All right, we are approaching five o'clock. And when the clock strikes five, I am expecting that performance meter to drop down significantly. I had all day to decide to go to work, change my mind. It didn't happen. What is that gonna mean for my performance? Let's see. It did in fact go down, but it didn't drop into the red. In fact, we're still kind of almost in the green. Since my job performance is still at average, even though I didn't even show up to work for my first day, it got me thinking, is there a way I can drop this down even lower, even faster? So I think I have an idea. If there's one thing in life that's made me perform poorly at previous jobs, it was staying up all night on the computer. So. I'm going to go ahead and fill out Dingus' schedule with tons and tons of really fun activities that will just keep him up all night. We filled the queue and <laughs> we will let Dingus' night of internet debauchery begin. My goal right now is to make Dingus as disgusting and uncomfortable as possible and then send him to work. Not only will he not have filled out his daily reports, and not only will he have missed his first day, but when he shows up, he's going to be the most unpleasant person in the office. He's hungry, he smells bad. This is exactly what I wanted. It's 5 a.m., so he missed the entire night of sleep. Let's just take a very short nap just to get that bar up enough. <laughs> so Dingus doesn't uh, collapse and miss work again. All right, yes, that is enough. Dingus getting up on his own knows that it is time to go to work. His official first day is going to start right now, and here he goes. He looks terrible. And in just a few seconds after he leaves, I'm already disappointed in this test. So there's an office prank going on. Obviously, we're going to, re going to retaliate because it's completely unprofessional, and my only hope of getting this performance bar down. <sighs> and, and it appears that I have made a critical error. 
Not only did that prank not get Dingus into any trouble, but going to work in perhaps the worst mood I've ever sent a sim to work in has only improved his performance. His performance is now good. He's never been closer to getting promoted in his entire life. This is a complete and utter shock. He also made 136 simoleons for a day of work. That's his salary. We made so much more than that with just paintings. With everything I've learned so far, there's not a lot of tests I could do, I think, that would get me closer to being fired, sending Dingus to work. It's Wednesday now. We're gonna see how many days it takes to get the performance bar to drop into the red zone. And then from there, what's gonna happen? Is, is he gonna immediately get fired? Is he gonna get a raise? I don't know. This office seems like a circus. Dingus spent the next several days learning about his passions. And I spent this time getting to know a little bit more about Dingus. Dingus loves painting, which is really fortunate because it's definitely keeping the lights on. He also hates programming, which is a shame because it's a really good way to make money. However, socially speaking, Dingus is a very needy sim. So there are a few times I had him go outside and try and make some friends. Which is when I learned that Dingus is also a very off-putting person. A lot of his conversations would end in arguments. And it got to the point where when people saw Dingus walking down the street, they would turn around and try and walk the other way. This did make things a bit complicated, but ultimately I was able to help Dingus stay focused on the task at hand of not going to work. Eventually though, they did start to notice that Dingus wasn't showing up, and that's about when the phone call started. Although Dingus didn't seem too threatened by them at first. <laughs> it has been just over one week. Dingus was minding his own business, playing some video games, trying to ride out the thunderstorm. But as soon as the clock struck 5 p.m. on Thursday, and the bar finally dipped into performance being poor at work, we got an incoming phone call from our boss. My boss called to say my work performance is pretty shaky. If I'm not careful, I could get demoted. I was told to focus on my career goals and keep a good mood at work and make it in on time every day. So after missing an entire week of work, we were threatened with basically a stern talking to. I've literally only shown up to this job one time Sounds ever. And basically the entire time I've pursued a career of a, a painter. My work is improving, I'm making excellent money, and I'm achieving my life goal of becoming fabulously wealthy despite never showing up to work. So how much longer can this go on? So it's Friday, and Dingus stayed up all night again, and he's missed the beginning of his workday again, and his boss is calling again. Let's see what happens. Once again, Dingus has been told if he continues to miss work, his work performance will suffer. Just fire him, just fire Dingus. I don't understand how this company needs a mailroom technician this bad that they're willing to put up with this. Anyway, it's now the end of that very same workday. My boss is calling again. Okay, this is it. This is it. Dingus is getting fired right now. Nope. Just stop calling at this point. Just stop calling. I now have to get through another weekend of just painting and selling paintings and then painting and selling more paintings before we find out what happens on Monday. My performance is now well into the red. There is no way I keep this job throughout the whole of next week. Upon missing yet another day of work, I got this ominous warning that everything doesn't seem to be going Dingus' way at, at all lately. <gasps> Fired! Yeah. Bad news, Dingus was fired from his job at Dewey, Cheatham & Howe Incorporated. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe how long Matt took. It took us all the way until Monday of his third week on the job before finally, finally being let go. <laughs> I, did, I literally did not think it was possible. Dingus doesn't seem too hurt by it. I mean, he looks sad, but he keeps kind of <laughs> laughing. And I don't know if he's just kind of processing the information. And I gotta say, I too am processing this information because this is a Sims first for me. What I've learned is that while it is possible to get fired in the Sims, it's basically impossible if all you do is show up to work once every two weeks or so. The other thing this taught me though is that jobs in the Sims 4 are incredibly broken. Because in just a few short weeks of life for Dingus, I'm about to achieve Dingus' lifetime goal of being fabulously wealthy. It's really only gonna take me a few more sim weeks to get there just painting alone. Not to mention combining it with all the other countless things you can do from a computer to make money, again, all from home. But I would say after all of this, my biggest realization is that The Sims 4 is actually the most accurate life sim I've ever played because even in this little world, remote work reigns supreme. Anyway, subscribe so maybe I can be convinced to bring Dingus back, and I'll see you next time.